Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. Between the middle of March and the monsoon season that usually starts the first or second week of July is the four-month period where we can work on our major road projects. Extended good weather is required, so we ask for your patience during this time of the year due to the limited duration of extended good weather. Work continues on Willow Creek Road. The pavement repair work along Willow Creek Road from Pioneer Parkway to Commerce Drive includes removing and replacing the asphalt pavement along the southbound curbside lane of Willow Creek Road between Pioneer Parkway and Commerce Drive. The microseal project along Willow Creek Road from Green Lane and Pulliam Drive to just south of the Iron Springs Road and Whipple Street intersection is finishing up. Final utility adjustments commence this week. These projects are highly weather dependent. Schedules may change in the event of inclement weather. Once complete, the improvements will extend pavement life and significantly improve the road quality for Prescott motorists. If possible, please avoid Willow Creek Road using alternate routes. If you must drive along Willow Creek Road, I recommend that you plan extra time to reach your destination. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding as we strive to enhance our community's infrastructure. Members of the public are invited to attend a meet and greet with two chief building official finalists this Thursday, May 2nd from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. in the City Council Chambers at Prescott City Hall, third floor, 201 North Montezuma Street. At the meeting, each candidate will provide a brief bio and will answer questions one-on-one. -on -one. This is an open house format with no formal program, so citizens can come anytime during the one and a half hour period. We have received many questions regarding recharge efforts for Watson and Willow Lakes. Recharge is the procedure used to return water to the aquifer by infiltration which replenishes underground water. The city has an agreement with the Salt River Water Users, also called SRP, that allows it to recharge up to 3,861 acre feet annually. Based upon the agreement, the city is only permitted to recharge the water between April 1st and November 30th of each year. The lakes support recreation and tourism, plus they are a habitat for a diverse wildlife population. We employ experts and consultants as we strive to balance the purposes of the lake with a myriad of uses staying with the confines of regulations and agreements. Next Tuesday, May 7th, we will host a road show from the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality titled, What Happens After We Flush? How Wastewater Treatment Works. This presentation explores water's journey from flush to treatment and how protections for the environment and the health of our community are managed. This event is open to the community and all ages. It takes place at the Prescott Public Library in the Founders Suite at 4.15 p.m. Don't forget that the 90-day public appeal period is currently open for the updated flood maps, which will close at the beginning of July. If you have not looked up your property to see if it is in the remapped area and how it is affected, I encourage you to do so. Changes in flood risk can mean changes in building and flood insurance requirements. See more information at the link below. Meetings this week include a special study session for the City Council tomorrow, April 30th. As we discuss a proposed ballot measure for the sales tax increase to support public safety. On Wednesday, May 1st, there's a Mayor's Veterans Commission meeting at the Great Sparks Activity Center. That meeting starts at 9 a.m. Also on Wednesday, the Workforce Housing Committee will meet at 10 a.m. here in the Council Chambers. Next week, May 6th, the Mayor's Charter Review Commission will be meeting starting at 3 p.m. The first fiscal year budget workshop is scheduled for May 9th. The City of Prescott's free brush and vegetation debris drop-off event for its residential trash customers is open for one more Saturday, May 4th, from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the City of Prescott Transfer Station. Proof of City of Prescott residency is required, and please do not bag the brush or vegetation debris and do not include other trash. Remember to cover and contain all loads while transporting. 
Last week was National Volunteer Appreciation Week, and I want to take this opportunity to thank the many, many volunteers that contribute their time and efforts to the City of Prescott. Volunteers serve on our boards, commissions, and committees, help out in the library and the parks. We have volunteers that assist our Prescott Police Department and much more. Without our volunteers, the city simply could not function as effectively as we do. Thank you all very much for all you do for the city of Prescott. Please slow down, drive safely, and be patient while these many road projects proceed. I'm Mayor Phil Good, and I'll update you again next week. Thanks for watching.